The two come together, we're ready to go at 197 pounds. The duel square at three points apiece. Both of these guys just incredible on their feet. Younger Bastida has a full arsenal of attacks. He can hit trips, he has great singles, great high crotches where he can post up and come out the back. I mean, he's got a great offense, but Rocky Elam's got that sweep single that everybody in the country has, tough, has a tough time with. They lock up. A lot of hand fighting going on in the first 35 seconds here in the first. Bastida has faked a couple of times. And Matt, as you well know, you walk around for a little bit. That first shot's coming here as we're about a minute in. And they're going to blow the whistle. What, maybe an inadvertent eye poke there? I think something came off headgear, and the referee picked it up and put it in his pocket. I don't know if it was a piece of tape or what it was. Bastida with the shot. Big double from Big outside. Double. He's looking body now. And Rocky holds it off. Bastida trying to stay in bounds, can't. Wow, that was a huge double, and Rocky able to hold him off. Big double leg there from Bastida. And was looking to go body lock, maybe throw there at the end, but just ran out of real estate. 140 to go in the first period. As you said, Bastida will probably be the aggressor. Elam's going to have to go forward. But the other part about Rocky Elam is you know he picks the spots. Absolutely. And historically in this matchup, Elam has been able to get some riding time on Bastida. So you got to wonder if he's thinking about that too. You know, I can. I can kind of pick and choose my shots because I know I can get out, I know I can ride. There's a shot by Elam. He's in on the leg. Bastida doing the splits. Rocky trying to finish it off, has him in the air. Bastida rolls through, and there's a takedown. They'll give him the two as Bastida gets back to his feet. Great mat return there for Rocky Elam. Bastida was nearly out there, Bo, and Elam just shoestringed him there, just got both ankles, and. Almost took him down again. Yeah, that was close to being an escape and another takedown, but they'll call it one takedown. They'll return to the middle as they went out of bounds. With 40 seconds to go in the first, Elam leads at 2-0. Big first takedown there for Rocky Elam. This would be huge if he can ride out this final 40 seconds and end this period up 2-0. Astita trying to get out. Elam working hard on top. The other thing that Elam did was finished his move. Absolutely. He got that shot in, was able to finish it for the two points. And that's something he really struggled with last week against Serber, but did a great job against Bastida, who's very good in those positions. A pretty good scrambler Bastida is. Elam did a great job of getting that ankle up off the mat, got it shelved, and finished quickly. When, when you got a guy who's as long as Rocky Elam, when you can get that foot shelf there, it's almost a guaranteed takedown. And he's going to ride him out here in the first. The riding time goes to 53 seconds. And Elam is going to defer. And let's see what Bastida chooses. There's that single again. You can see Elam got it shelved here. Bastida tries to roll through. Elam did a good job of anticipating that. Drops right on him for two. And then stays with it. Bastida is going to start down here in the second. And they'll give the caution to Bastida, who jumped early. Again, Rocky is seven seconds away from hitting the minute of riding time. Riding time point could be big in this match. Yes, it will be. Bastida tries to roll through. Elam says no dice. Bastida broke flat here. And this is in a few of their matchups in the past. This is where Rocky's been able to pick up stall calls on Bastida on bottom. Riding time is now at 115. Younger really needs to show some effort here. He needs to build up to his base and 
really show the referee that he's, he's working down there. And Elam just in control. The fans here want a stall call. And Elam is doing a good job with body position, isn't he? Yeah, he's staying in a really good position. He's chopping, he's getting out to the side, hooking ankles, you know, really just smothering Bastida on top. Riding time's at 145, 106 to go in the period. Threatening Cradle here. He's got it locked up, Bo. He's got the leg in. He's got it locked. Can he get him over? Can he roll him over and at least get back points? He's got plenty of time with 55 seconds. Elam taking his time. He's on that side. He needs to pop his knees under him, get him snatched up. But it looks like Bastida maybe has broke his lock now. The riding time is over 2.15. There's a stall warning against Bastida. 30 seconds to go here in the second. I think this is why Bastida thought about starting neutral in this period. As they go out of bounds, they'll return to the center. Riding time, 2.30. Brian Smith loves it. Time on the clock, 24 seconds left in the second. And this restart is big here. If there's a, a chance that Bastida has his best opportunity to get out, it's right here off the whistle. As he doesn't move off the whistle there, Elam able to cut and trap him there, get a tight waist. 15 seconds to go in the period. And will Elam ride him out the entire period? He's about seven seconds away from doing so. The Missouri bench on its feet. The fans come to their feet, and that's the end of the second. As Rocky rides him out for the entire period, he has two minutes and 53 seconds of riding time. As we go to the third, Rocky quickly chooses down, and he's ready to roll as Bastida will cover. Rocky builds a bridge, and if you're Bastida here, do you have to let him go? Yeah, he's going to need... Rocky trying to roll through it. He'll get the escape. Riding time point is locked up right now. Bastida's going to need three takedowns in this period to tie this up and force overtime. So he's really going to have to get after it here. Or one big move with some back points. It's 3-0 Elam, but again, he does have the riding time point locked up. Bastida's got to go to work, and Elam will stay aggressive. Hearn Center coming alive. And don't forget, Bastida does have the stall call. Elam moves out of the way. There's a shot by Bastida. Can't do much with it. Rocky with a good sprawl. Yeah, and he's got that ankle underneath here. He's in good position. But you don't want to let Bastida build up and get into you here. 46 seconds to go as they'll go back neutral in the middle. Brian and Smith telling Elam yeah. to pick it up there. Say, let's go on the offense. Meanwhile, Kevin Dresser watching his eighth ranked wrestler at 197. Can't blame him for being out of gas a little bit. Uh, it's tough when you've got a guy who's so good on top, like Rocky Elam, really just grinding on you for almost two full periods. There's a stall warning against Elam as he backed up. So that's his first, so each wrestler has one now. And they'll stalemate it. 19 to go, Bo. Bastida, he's got to be thinking big move here. Yep, has to come through with something big. Elam leads it 3-0. Elam doesn't want to back up too much. That's There's a, a shot, shot by Rocky. In on the leg with seven seconds to go. If he holds this position, he's going to be in good shape. The Hearn Center crowd comes to its feet, and that'll do it. Rocky Elam will win it 4-0 at 197. 